Hey guys, and welcome back to Summer. When we last left off, we got suited and booted with a new suit and a new body and a new brain. Sadly, uh, we did have to leave our old self behind, but uh, never mind. It is what it is. We are the third Simon that uh, we know of in existence, probably was others, um, considering our brain was a template. But, uh, yeah, let's leave this place behind. Did we pull? We did. We pulled her out. Okay. All right, let's go then. Let's uh, see where we're going to end up. Onwards. That was a really, really fun... A new cue. Yeah. That was a really fun uh, choice. Is fun the right word? Yeah, yeah, sure, why not? A really uh, thoughtful choice. I really got the head meat uh, pumping. Although not pumping too much. Don't want anything to explode now. Well, this looks ominous. Alright. Let's move. At least this is nice and easy. There's only one real way to go. You know, Catherine's been keeping a lot of things from us, hasn't she? She's um, been sugarcoating a lot of this. Including, at one point, telling us that we might be able to fit the suit over our body. Uh, do we go down? I guess we go down, but I'm guessing this isn't the correct way down. Oh dear. Yeah! I think that was our first death. You die. Yeah, that was our first death. Huh. Well, there's obviously a button or something we're missing here. Oh, hello. Oh, we can go round here. Oh. Oh, well. Why don't I actually uh, use my uh, my ocular vision and try not to die this time? Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, Simon. Those ladders are actually quite hard to get onto. Yeah, this is the preferred method of... Transportation. Are we done here? Yeah. Activate the car, please. Sure thing. Oh, passengers. One. Oh. Descend. Do we have a switch to flip? Seems like this big button here. Or are we descend? Ah, here we go. It's big knobbly bit. There we go. Give that a good tug. Take a seat and we'll be off. Take a seat. Is, is that some wise ass comment? Oh no, there is actually a seat. Well, the sunlit zone. Rich in light and oh, is that even possible? There's some kind of afterlife. Do you think my place is taken? The real me died like a hundred years ago. Is there still room for me? And what about the Simon I killed at Omicron? What do you think, Heather? Is there a heaven full of redundant copies of the same people? There's someone up there who called me an imposter. It's dumb luck, right? And I woke up in the right body. They basically flipped a coin, and if I had called the wrong side, I'd be rotting away at Omicron. I mean, there's nowhere to know, right? You didn't hit the make sure Simon wakes up in the right body switch, did you? Not that you would know. I mean, he would still claim to be the right Simon. Christ. This is awful. We did an awful fucking thing. 
And you wouldn't mind, why would you? How could you know that it's not me, the me that I am, the same that I've always been? Please say something. I don't want to think. Please. I don't know what to say. I don't want to upset you. Say anything. When I was little, I used to climb the stairs all the way to the top of the building. And I can still feel how I did it, you know, tuck my arm so I could push the heavy steel door open. Well, the first time that I dared go up there, I stepped out onto the roof and watched the smog rise and fall over Taipei. I got all the way up to the corner ledge and, you know, I felt the warm wind in my hair and the sun was setting and the streets below were shadowed by the tall buildings. The people pushing through the crowd flowed like paint from an artist's brush. Street food vendors filled the air with aromas of all my favorite foods. For a brief moment, I felt connected to the world in a way that I never had before. It was the most profound feeling of comfort and sense of belonging I could ever hope for. I really never felt the same way again, but I went up to the roof many times after. I'm not religious, but I can see why people would be. The privilege of being makes a strong case, at least every once in a while. Do you still feel that sense of awe? Even like this? Things are different, but we're still here. What's the point of going on? Everyone's gone. All the people still left are digital copies trapped in computers at the bottom of the sea. We'll never be able to rebuild or reclaim what we were. Are you really so unhappy being what you are, or is this about the man who went for a scan a hundred years ago? Both, I guess. When I was back in Toronto, even the worst case, the darkest futures I could predict, they at least included my previous life somehow. I feel so uprooted. There's nothing here that I recognize, nothing that makes me feel like I belong. Even if we make it to the Ark, would it be any different? I'd still be alone. No friends. No family. You could make new friends? I'm sure everyone would like to know the time traveler. If not, you still have... Oh, good. Wonderful. Uh, I was enjoying that conversation. Hello, what happened? Oh, don't say Catherine's dead. Really? <sighs> you got to think about her as well, man. I mean, she's popping in and out of uh, reality like no tomorrow. Well, hopefully this is an easy... Oh, God, look at this. Uh, was everybody paying... Whoa. Was everyone paying attention to the monitor? Looks like there's some nasty things down here. Oh, there's some beautiful things, too. Hmm. Well. Certainly there's more life out here than I would have thought. Let's hope there isn't uh, too much out here that wants to eat our face. But who am I kidding? Of course there is. Alright, well. I guess one of the fuses is blown. Hey, I know it's not much, but why don't we stop moving? The power blacked out for a moment. I think it could be the atmospheric pressure. It's pushing pretty hard, really testing the limits of my suit. Don't worry, it should hold. Comforting. It will hold. Does, does time freeze when you're not powered? Time feels limited more than anything. What's the difference? I don't feel like I'm being held back or hindered. And I don't have the opportunity to reflect on the time I'm missing. It's simply missing. Sounds like sleeping without the dreaming. Yes. But generally you anticipate when you're about to sleep, and there's yeah. a natural continuation since we tend to wake up where we went to sleep. My experience That's... is more like an ever-changing moment that never really seems to find closure. Sounds kind of like a movie being edited live. I suppose so. I guess it sounds exciting, but it really keeps me activated to the point of exhaustion. So can you not rough. Could be worse. Mic, Could be a time traveler stuck in a body made from black goo. That'd be the worst. 
Yeah. Oh, hell. Oh, it's getting blurry down here. Oh. Um. Uh. Whoa, hello. You did it. You did it. I will make preparations. Wait. What? Who are you? You're the same, uh, bloke that we saw the other day. At the, um, not the power room, but in the quarantine area. Hmm. Oh, good, you're back. What happened? Something dropped onto the cage. Knocks you right out. He spoke to me. Looked like a man, one of WoW's creatures. It just stared at you for a moment, then threw itself down the abyss. It said it would make preparations. I don't like the sound of that. It was very strange. I thought it was going to kill you for sure. I'm glad it didn't. Yeah, me too. You're glad you didn't die? Well, there's progress. That's good. Looks like we're closing in. That's very healthy. Floor. Good. Not sure the climber can take it much longer. Okay, so this is the Omega Sector. It's about an acre of the abyssal plan used by Pathos 2. I expect we'll have to do some walking before we reach town. You haven't been here before? Not in a way that'll help us. I the author of you has been here. We're following your old footsteps, Kat. When I had footsteps. You could still be down here somewhere. Technically. Don't remind me, freaks me out. Right, let's head for and find that arm. That'd be cool if we actually find her body. Well, here we are. Fortune favors the brave. Offline. Oh, this is contaminated. The WoW has certainly had its fun here. So, it looks like there's someone kind of still sentient about. Error. Luma link needed to cool. Oh, well. We're down here now. That We're down here for good. Dan uh, danger. Area run safe. Stay close to the lights. Right you are. It is very blurry down here. Makes sense, I guess. Ooh. Uh, sample collection, physical checkups. Check. Towel eviction. Oh. Failed. Uh, bringing the Ark to Fi. Signed in. Okay. Well then. Yeah, the WoW is getting out of control. I mean, is it going to eventually run out of uh, structure gel to manipulate? I don't know. I guess we can't play with that. Ooh, we haven't had one of these for a while. Nothing. It's dead. Let's move out. We'll try the next one. Yeah. Well, stay close to the lights. It is beautiful under here. At least we still have power. Now, there doesn't really appear to be many lights here, to be honest. Ooh. Master switch. Six thousand six hundred volts. That is a lot of uh, electrical pressure. Well, there doesn't appear to be much here. I was hoping for a little bit of story. Okay. 
rules of cable. Isn't it crazy that the entire planet is lost? Everything that everyone knew is gone. No hope of survival. But then I guess this is why the Ark at this point is so important. It's the only way of humans to live on in some meaningful way. Warning, uh, fault line activity, strong torrents expected. Excellent. So we're at the climber station. Lovely. Well, let's try not to die. No promises. Ooh. Not a lot left of that. Stick to the lamplights, they won't go near them. I can't, Foulglasser. It's important I reach Omicron. Our future depends on it. Calm down. Let's just follow the path. If I die, I need you to tell Julia Dahl that the WoW is out of control. She needs to get to Sarang. He'll know what to do. Raj, you can tell them yourself. We just need to pick up the pace, okay? Glass! We lost the path! We need to go back! I know where to go. Come on! It's over there! The light is over there! Final push, Ross. Almost there, we just... Shit. So I'm guessing there are things around here somewhere. Looks like the WoW is trying to get to him. I guess. Okay. Seven hundred meters. Danger. Stay close to the lights. Blue leads to Tau. Red leads to the. So we've got to follow the blue lights. Well, at least the power still works. Ah, I see. Got ya. Oh, well, this certainly is a lonely walk. There's stuff over there I want to look at. But it just doesn't seem like it's worth going to look. You know, we've all... Whoa. Hey, pal. Please stay over there. I don't want my face to be eaten. Although I don't think you'd have a good time eating me. Um, there isn't a lot of meat left on my bones, to be honest. Right, inventory. Dried squid, zero. Fish flake, zero. Frozen minnows, zero. Uh, Jupo, zero. Mushroom extract, plankton stock. Uh, I got the bait tanks. Yeah, everything's empty. Set up, uh, Lord Dried Squid, one kilogram, sixty pieces. Blah blah blah. Target. Oh, target. Frilled shark. Rare shark. Approach the luminous lure. Circled around to eat the dried squid. Uh, unlikely that it frequents this depth. An anomaly. Oh, I see. That's the actual picture of it. Um, Atlantic Blue Merlin. Cameras, quad HDR. Uh, giant squid, whoa. 
mantle the size of a man. Jesus. Estimated length of the whole thing, 10, 12 meters. Frantic attack tore the Merlin apart. As soon as we turned on the lights, it quickly fled the area. Clearly another specimen affected by the leaking structure gel, partly covered in scales and newly formed bone structure protruding from the mantle. Jesus. Results. Target unknown. The creature disfigured by the gel. Creatures disfigured by the gel are manic and will attack anything. It's still hard to determine how the WoW has affected their behaviour beyond their apparent aggression and affinity with the light. The creatures seem to hunt something particular, something not present in this ecosystem. Oh. Well, that sounds fun. Do they mean hunting us? Probably. I guess we're about... Oh, look, there's some health there. I guess we're about to find out. Let's go back out. Back out into the black. Well, that's the next light that I can see. Where are we going next? That just leads back. Is there something more we can do in here? Let's shut the cage for now. Oh, hello. I see. Ah, there we go. Let's get you open. Oh, I don't like this. Uh, any chance of some lights? Are you serious? I thought that we couldn't... Alright. Well then. I guess I'm going to follow this cable. Ah, there we go. Run! Run! Okay, and safe, question mark? I guess we're about to find out. Do you know what's been quite interesting with this game? Actually, is the... As much as the enemies are fun, this game almost feels like it doesn't actually need them. This game is uh, atmospheric and interesting enough, oh god, without them. What the hell is this? If this had just been um, similar to... Uh, what's that game that I played recently? Everyone's gone to the rapture and just had no enemies, but you're just wandering these long dead halls. I think it would have had a very similar effect. Because you could have still had all the bodies and the robots and the monsters and things, but just maybe le made them not aggressive. I mean, I like having the enemies. But it still would have been really, really good. Oh, what is this? Unknown. All right, run for the lights. The lights. There's a container there. I wonder if there's something there. We're not going to worry about it, though. We're just going to keep marching forwards. Forwards. Oh, wow. That's cool. I don't think these lights are going to be here much longer. Just keep barreling it in the direction that we need to go. Now hold on to your ass on the way. It's alright, Simon. We will make it. I don't know whether we're going to make it in this life or the next. But trust me, buddy. 
We will make it eventually. Ooh. Yeah, don't touch the electrics. Wise advice. Insufficient power. Well, sadly, we need power. Tau, can you hear this? Anyone there? This is Tau? Who is this? This is Ian Peterson of Beta calling. I got a team with me, and we're about half a kilometer from Tau. What? How, how did... You came in the climber? Listen, we're having a really hard time with this sector. Heavy huh. turbulence is making it difficult to move forward, and the wildlife you got is absolutely rabid. The storm comes and goes. The instruments show the weather is relatively fair right now. You should move out as soon as possible. Stick to the lights. The critters should leave you alone. All right, you heard the man. We're moving out, people. Tau, keep the doors unlocked. We're coming in. Coming in hot, boys. Right, let's get the go juice going. And hope this bloody thing holds together for five minutes. Oh. What's that? Oh, it's a garage for a dro Ah! Does that droid have lights on it? Well, one way to find out. Hey, buddy. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. Or make your acquaintance. Control. Tau. I guess we're following this chap. Hopefully it's going to keep those bloody fish off our back. You right there, pal? Hey, 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 enough of that, enough of that. Need you in working condition. Damn, these lights are fragged. If you're trying to speak to me, mate, you're going to have to be a little bit clearer than that. Man, the effect for the, the water current here is incredible. It really does feel like you're being knocked around. And it's uh, the controls are really stiff here as well. It's great. Ooh. Ooh. One of those weird zombie things. Oh, smokes! Shit, on a shovel. We have just lost our aid. Bollocks. Well, thanks for all the little help you did give us, buddy. Oh, wow. Yeah, I just sit there if I you, mate. Uh, horrible things are happening. Um, I am tempted to go that way, but <clears throat> I would almost guarantee a, a painful death at this point. Look at all these crab type things hiding here. This is cool. Yeah, just follow the chemical flares. Um, chemical flares. Chemical flares. Sweet, sweet chemical flares. So I'm guessing this must have happened fairly recently because chemical flares don't last more than like 72 hours most of the time. What is that? Is that where we need to go? Oh no! It's a fucking great big fish! Run! Run! Lights! Lights! Aha! Oh god, he's still coming! This is cheese it! Cheese it! Oh hey pal! Don't really want to play with you either! I'm just gonna keep running! Just keep swimming! Just keep swimming! Just keep swimming! Um... Next please! Thank you! I'm kind of glad some of these are still up and running. This would be really awkward otherwise. 
I suppose uh, at least we're getting a deep clean. I imagine this current is washing our suit quite nicely. Either that or caking us in dirt, grit and sand. We're getting sandblasted, yes. Yes. Not a bad way to clean a suit. This is looking good. Although if I may be so bold, this place is not looking so good. This place looks completely overrun by the WoW. At least we don't have fish features in here. <sighs> okay. I'm quite happy with that. Oh, I'm going to pressurize and drain the water. Wonderful. Oh, nice. Thank God for that. This place looks really advanced compared to the other areas. Oh, happy to be inside. Let's find yeah. the ark. Yeah, well, uh, before we get too excited, we're gonna save and exit because we're on half an hour now. Well, guys, this has been fun. Uh, I have certainly enjoyed that little trek through the uh, through the abyss. That was fun. Very pretty as well. So here we are, finally getting ready to find the Ark. Uh, I'm assuming we're getting close towards the end of the game, but uh, I, I don't know for sure. Anyway, guys, till next time.